In this video, we'll be solving a question from the Russian Mass Olympiad. The question is, prove that x to the fourth minus x plus one half is bigger than zero for any real values of x. We can use two methods to prove this. So let's see the first method. The first method is a general calculus method that works for many optimization problems. So first, let's define a function f of x f of x equals the left-hand side of the inequality, just x to the fourth minus x plus one-half. Let's take a look at the first-order derivative, just four x to the third minus one. Then let the first-order derivative equals zero, because we want to find all critical points. Just, just let this one equal 0. Just 4 x to the third minus 1 equals 0. Then x to the third equals 1 fourth. Continue to solve this. Then x equals 1 fourth to the power of 1 over 3. So then this is the only real solution. And this is the only critical point. Next, let's take a look of the second order derivative. Then we're going to continue from here. So then, to 12 x squared. So this will help us to determine if there's a local minimum or local maximum or neither. So next, let's figure out what is the the second order derivative at this critical point. So just 1 fourth to the power 1 over 3. Then use this critical point to replace x here. Then just 12. Then here 1 over 4. Then to the power 2 over 3. Because this one is bigger than zero. So that means, so for this function, at this critical point, the function reaches a local minimum. Because the interval r is the open interval, all the real numbers, and this critical point is a unique critical point. So that means this function has a local minimum, and this local minimum just a global minimum. So then here, we have the minimum value of the function. Just equals a function value at this critical point. So f of uh, 1 fourth to the power of 1 over 3. Then just plug in this critical point to the function f of x. Then here just 1 fourth, then to the power 4 over 3, then minus 1 fourth to the power of 1 third then plus one half. Then by checking, this one is bigger than zero. So then we have the minimum value of the function is bigger than zero. That implies the function value is bigger than zero. Then which is proved, then x to the fourth minus x plus one half is bigger than zero. So that's the first method. So now let's move on to the second method. Sometimes there's a shortcut for some questions. So now let's see this. For this question, the second method just use algebra. Okay, so let's start from the left-hand side of the inequality. x to the fourth minus x plus one half. We want to prove this expression is bigger than zero. Okay, so then first step, we want to do something to this expression. We're going to minus x squared, then plus x squared. It's like a plus zero. The reason we want to make a complete squares. So next, let's combine x to the fourth minus x squared together. To make a complete square, we need one more term, which is 
one fourth. That's the first group. So next, combine x squared minus x. To make a complete square, we need a one more term. That's one fourth. Then here, one fourth plus one fourth equals one half. So then the first group can make a complete square. So that's the x squared minus one half, the whole thing squared. Also, the second group can make a complete square. That's a one x minus one half, then squared. Because uh, each square, this one is bigger than equal to zero. This one is bigger than equal to zero. So then the sum, of course, is bigger than or equal to zero. But the question is to prove this expression is bigger than zero. So then we need to prove it cannot be zero. Okay, so now let's see. What happens if this one equals zero? Okay, so let's see. If the sum of squares equals zero, plus the second square equals zero, that means if and only if the first square equals zero, this one equals zero, and the second square equals zero. So this one equals zero. Then x minus one half squared equals zero. So then solve this one. So x equals positive or negative one over square root two. Then solve the second one. So this one equals zero, that means x equals one half. Okay, so that means, so when x equals positive or negative one over square root two, the first square equals zero. And when x equals one half, the second square equals zero. But the two numbers are not the same. So that means the two squares cannot be zero at the same time. So that means the sum of the squares cannot be zero. So then we have the first squared plus the second squared cannot be zero. So that means here cannot be zero. It's only bigger than zero. So then we have the conclusion. So x to the fourth minus x plus one half is bigger than zero. So this is the second method. Thanks for watching.